If you're having trouble touching your toes and getting more flexible hamstrings, then this 30-day plan is for you. We made this routine to be highly effective, but also a lot of fun with a variety of stretches and exercises. All you have to do is come back to this video, click on the day that you're on, and do the stretches that we tell you to. Let's get to it. Day one, we're gonna test your flexibility so that we can compare it to your flexibility at the end of 30 days. Make sure to record this. We're going to just try to touch the toes. You're gonna reach down, see if you can keep your knees straight and squeeze into that position, just so you can get a nice starting line. Now, let's get to our first stretch. You're gonna find something around knee height. You're gonna put your heel up on it. Try and keep the knee straight and reach towards your toes. Give a little squeeze, come back out, we're gonna do that for 10 repetitions. Then we'll switch sides, boom, 10 repetitions. Repeat that twice. Day two. First, we're gonna start by practicing something really essential for stretching the hamstrings, which is your pelvis position. So we wanna learn anterior pelvic tilt, which is when I extend through my spine like this, and then posterior tilt, which is when I'm more rounded and tucked under. So do this about five times, just feeling into anterior and posterior. So now when we move to our stretch today, we want to use that anterior pelvic tilt. So we're going to do a body weight hinge and I'm going to prioritize this anterior tilt and extension. And then I'm going to bring my torso down, keeping my knees pretty straight if you can. We're only going to go as far as we can stay extended in the back here and then we're gonna stand back up. So we wanna resist doing this and rounding over. We wanna keep that arch. We wanna go down, feel a good stretch in the hamstrings, stand back up. You're gonna do that for 10 reps, two sets. Day three, we're gonna start out sitting against a wall. So get your butt all the way in the crevice there and then sit up nice and tall and try and just keep your back attached to the wall here. Now we're gonna slowly try and straighten the knees down towards the ground. We'll do this for one minute. Then we're gonna find a chair or a bench, take a seat. And we learned yesterday anterior pelvic tilt. So we're gonna move into anterior pelvic tilt. We'll put the feet about shoulder width apart and then slightly in front of the knees. And then we're just gonna work on hinging forward, trying to bring the chest forward and coming back up. We'll do that for 10 repetitions. Two sets. Day four, one of my favorite days because we get to lay down on the ground. Now we're gonna use a yoga strap, a band, or even a towel works fine. You're gonna come down on your back and the first thing we're gonna do is just simply raise your leg as high as you can go while keeping that knee pretty straight. We're gonna do this 10 times. On that 10th time, you'll take your little band wrap it around your foot, and then you're just gonna lightly pull into a bigger stretch here. Hold that for one minute, do the other side, repeat that two times. And if you're really stiff, it might even just look like this here. Day five, remember the hinge we worked on. So today we're gonna do the same movement, but we're gonna split the legs, one leg in front, one leg and back, and this allows us to work specifically on one leg at a time. So same execution of the hinge, but now we're putting most of our weight in this front leg, keeping that back nice and arched. We'll do 10 repetitions, switch sides, and repeat for two sets. Day six. Today we're gonna do something a bit more dynamic, leg swings. So I recommend doing these next to a wall so you can put some hand for some support. I'm gonna use this for now. And all we're gonna do is kick that leg out in front of us and swing it behind us, just like this. And let yourself kind of warm up into deeper ranges of motion towards the end of maybe 10 to 20 reps, you'll be getting your leg higher and higher. So you're gonna do that on each side, 10 to 20 reps, and then we're gonna move right into those body weight hinges. Trying to keep the knees straight, staying arched in the back. Do 10 of those and then repeat that cycle one more time. Day seven, rest day, take the day off. Day eight, so we're one week in. Maybe those hamstrings are starting to feel a little bit looser. We're going to go back to our body weight hinges, 
keep that back arch, keep those knees straight. Maybe this time we're starting to push ourselves a little bit further towards the toes and the ground. We're gonna do 10 repetitions, three sets this time, guys. Day nine, take a strap, lie on your back, put that strap around your foot and pull your leg into a light stretch. Now from here, we're gonna lift and lower the other leg for 10 reps. Each time you lift, try and pull this leg a little bit further, a little bit of a deeper stretch. And then on your 10th rep, you'll lower that leg and hold for a 30 second stretch. Then repeat on the other side and do that for two sets. Day 10, we're back to our seated good morning. Find yourself a chair. This time you could experiment with maybe widening the feet out. We'll start to get a little bit more of those inner thighs stretched as well. Keep the back arched, go as low as you can comfortably, come back up. We're gonna do 10 reps and you're gonna repeat that three times. Day 11, we're gonna start out on one knee. We're gonna put the other leg out in front with the knee straight. We're gonna reach towards the toes, getting a stretch here. And then we're gonna bend the knee, drive the hips down towards the ground. And now we get a stretch in the back hip flexor. We're gonna move between these two positions, trying to get a little bit deeper each time. We'll do that for 60 seconds on each side, two sets. Day 12, we got a fun one for you today. We're gonna go back to these leg swings and we're gonna do 20 of them. When you're getting close to 20, see if you could kick that leg up nice and high. Now, after you do each side, we're going to get our hands down on the ground. We're gonna step the feet back and we're gonna play with this downward dog position. Now I just want you to hang out here for about 30 seconds and just start to experiment with trying to get that heel down to the ground, maybe one at a time, it's a little bit easier, and just feeling a nice stretch through the back of your legs. You're gonna repeat that series two times. Day 13, we're gonna do the split stance hinge that we've worked on before. Remember to keep your back arched and keep that knee as straight as possible. This time we're gonna do 10 reps on each side for three sets. Day 14, take an off day. Maybe get yourself a hamstring massage. You're so tense. <laughs> Day 15, we've got a new movement for you. We're gonna start out on the butt. We're gonna roll to the back, bring the knees up above the head using the hands for assistance. And then we're gonna slowly drop these knees towards the ground and drop the feet towards the ground as well. We'll do this three times, Just rolling back to the front and up. Each time trying to get a little deeper, trying to get those feet a little closer to the ground. Once we're done there, we're gonna move into downward dog for 30 seconds. Again, just trying to reach those heels towards the ground, lift the hips up in the sky. Repeat that for three sets. Day 16, we're gonna introduce front kick. So once again, use a wall or something for support. You're gonna lift the knee and then you're going to extend the knee and try to get that straight, hold for a second, come back down. So in the beginning, maybe we're getting here and then over the course of 10 reps, see if we can get a bit higher as we go. Now, after doing 10 reps on each leg, we're gonna do all of our favorite body weight hinge. Back arched, come down, 10 reps, Repeat that twice. Day 17, we are repeating that kneeling hip flexor to kneeling hamstring stretch, rocking between those two positions. 60 seconds, we're doing three sets this time. Day 18, introducing my favorite hamstring stretch. It's called squat pike. I want you to start by lowering the hips like so, getting them as low as feels comfortable for you. Then you're gonna place your hands somewhere around your shins and you're gonna lift the hips and pull your torso down. We're gonna work between these two positions for about 60 seconds. Now, as you go, you can probably get a bit deeper into this squat, and you can also pull yourself a bit deeper into this forward fold position. Do three sets of 60 seconds. Enjoy. Day 19, we are repeating the split stance hinge, but we're gonna change it slightly. So before, we had our feet 
fairly far apart. Now we're gonna bring that back foot closer to the front foot and we're really gonna try and put all the weight in the front foot. This back foot is only here for balance. We're gonna do three sets of 10 repetitions and on the last rep of every set, you're gonna hold your deepest position for 10 seconds. Day 20, we're getting into some fun stuff here. We're gonna start with our leg swings. Now that you guys are used to this, we can go up to about 30 swings here and take it light in the beginning and then push yourself towards the end. Now immediately after, we're going to go down into our downward dog, like so. This time, we're gonna walk forward. One arm, opposite leg moves. Try to keep those hips high. Try to keep those knees straight. Go about 10 steps. Stand up. We're gonna repeat that cycle three times through. Hey, strength side, which stretch are we doing day 21? Bow! Take a rest. <laughs> day 22, we have Jefferson curl. So essentially with the Jefferson curl, we're using some weight to pull us deeper into a position. So I'm gonna use this, but start really light. You only need something like five pounds maybe. So from here, I'm gonna tuck my chin and then I'm gonna start rounding my back, letting this weight pull me. One good thing that we can aim for is getting that weight a little bit beneath our toes. You're gonna stand back up, that's one rep. You're gonna do five and you're gonna do three sets. Enjoy. Day 23, we've got a new movement today, but we're gonna start out with something we've done, the back fold, where we go onto the back, we lift up and we try and lower the feet towards the ground. We're gonna do that for five repetitions. Then this new movement, we're gonna do some pike lifts. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall. You may need to lean back a bit for this and that will determine where you put your hands. Just put your hands in a place that give you support. Then all we're gonna do is lift one leg as high as you can off the ground, hold for about a second and then we'll switch legs. So we'll do the back fold for five reps and then 10 repetitions of the pike raises and we'll repeat that sequence for three sets. Day 24, we're gonna do front kick and body weight hinge again. So this time front kick is gonna be 10 reps each side. Gonna move straight into that body weight hinge for 10 reps. We're gonna repeat that cycle three times. Day 25, we've got leg swings for 30 reps and the downward dog walks for 60 seconds. And we're gonna do three rounds. Have fun. Day 26, new movement alert, standing windmill. So for this, we're gonna take kind of a straddle stance here. You can point the toes out slightly. You're gonna raise one arm up to the sky. You're gonna drop the other arm down. We're gonna hinge the hips back and we're going to try to look at this hand, which will make us rotate our torso a bit. You're gonna go down as low as you can. So now we're getting a bit of this hip hinge with some rotation. You'll most likely feel it most in the hamstring of the side where your arm comes down. So we're gonna do five reps on each side and you're gonna repeat that three times. Day 27, we have an old movement with a new twist. We're gonna take a weight, small weight to start, hold it to your chest, right at the clavicles. Then we're gonna do our split stance hinge. So we put most of our weight into our front leg, keep that back nice and arched, and go as deep as you can. And you can allow the weight to pull you a little bit deeper than how you were doing it before. We're gonna do this for 10 repetitions, holding, on that last rep for 10 seconds, three sets. Day 28, we're gonna do our Jefferson curls again. So remember, grab a light weight. You can maybe go a little bit heavier this time. And today, I want you to go up to eight repetitions. Three sets, once again, eight reps. Day 29, take a rest. Wait, you're not gonna do anything funny? What are you thinking, some kind of clown? Day 30, if you made it this far, congratulations. And today we're gonna retest touching our toes. But first, let's warm up a little bit. So warm up with a few of these leg swings, however many feels good for you, just to get blood flowing in your legs. And then I'd like you to do that downward dog walk again, just 
taking a few steps forward, feeling everything get nice and warmed up and lubricated. And moment of truth. We'll go down and we'll see. Ah, uh, yes, made it there. If you took a before picture, take an after picture as well. The stretching shouldn't stop here. Take those stretches that you felt were most productive for your body and keep doing them. And if you want some more guidance, check out Flexibility Flow. It's like what we did here, but for your whole body. Link in the description. So I know that you made some solid progress doing this full routine. You probably had some fun as well. Drop us a comment, let us know. And if you want to, share it on Instagram. We'd love to see your before and afters. Like this video, subscribe to StrengthSide. See you guys in the next one.